Hello again, and here's a money saving video that I thought I'd put together about getting new tyres for your vehicle. The van has come back from its MOT, and one of the advisories is that all four tyres are close to the legal limit. I don't think you can really see that well, but the temptation is just drive straight down to Quick Fit, pay him 400 quid to put four new tyres on. I decided this time I wanted to save a bit of money, so what I've done is I've basically gone onto eBay and I've purchased some used wheels but with new tyres on. So these cost me £220 and then you can factor in probably 10 quid for the petrol that it cost me to go and pick them up from Essex. So if we take a look, these are virtually brand new, all of them, all the way around. I've inspected them all. Uh, the guy that I bought them off said they'd done 4,000 miles he'd done in them, which isn't a lot. They are winter tyres, as you can see, which wouldn't be my first choice, but I'm not going to be picky. It's November, so it should be all right. And uh, the most important thing for me, which has made this a bit more challenging, is the load rating. You can see 94H here. 94 is the load rating because I've got basically car wheels and car tyres. On a heavy van i need a higher load rating uh, it's just a little bit of information there if anyone else has got a t4 you need to make sure the load rating is sufficient don't know if i got a good deal or not no idea but i do know that i spent 230 quid to get these instead of the 400 quid that quick fit have quoted me so already you know that's 170 quid saving and i also get a free set of wheels which means obviously i can take these off and i can flog these with used tyres or with worn tyres on them. I'll get less than I paid for them, but you know, you can probably factor in another 100 quid for them or so, maybe. 270 quid, that's how much I've saved by doing this instead of driving down to Quick Fit and getting new tyres on. If you want to find wheels that will fit your vehicle, first of all, you want to make sure the lug pattern here is going to be correct. So obviously the most important thing, you need to be able to, to uh, bolt the wheel onto your van with a transporter, it's five by 112. That means five lugs, and 112 I think is the size of the circle there. Five by 112s will physically bolt onto the hub on a transporter. Your car might be something else, um, but make sure you've got that right. Um, and then you want to be thinking about the wheel size. So if you just go and look on your tire, this is what you're looking for. So mine are 205 slash 55 R16. R16, and that's the size of the wheel. 55, I think, is the depth of the tire. And then the 205 will be the width of the tire. Anyway, just look at the look at the measurements on your current wheels and just find wheels that have the same measurements and then you know it's gonna fit. Another thing to take into account when you're fitting new wheels on your vehicle is you need to make sure the tread pattern is going in the correct direction. These are designed to push water out of the way as the wheel's rotating. So this tire is designed to rotate that way. So you want the front of your vehicle at that end and that's gonna make sure the water is pushed outwards. If you had the front of your vehicle this end, for instance, this wheel would be rotating that way and then this tread would be sucking water in towards the middle. So just make sure you get that right. Simple rule of thumb really, when you're looking at the wheel, you wanna make sure if it's like an arrow shape like that, that that's pointing towards the front of the vehicle. 
and then you should have them the right way. You can see I've got two going that way, two going that way. So these would be for the near side and those two would be for the off side. Half an hour later, all done. Nothing groundbreaking really. I guess all I've done really in this video is advised you to buy something second hand rather than brand new. But I thought it might have some value. I hope it was useful to someone. I've saved myself £270, assuming I can sell these for 100 quid, which I'm sure I can. I might even get more, who knows. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Stay safe. Cheers.